It's Pete, Joe Laub here in the studio talking about law. And I watch your commercial. And you have this one where you, you. you do that first. Well, I have to because this is why I work here. I have to. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't even have cable. But but I watch your commercial and it says it says text me if you're arrested. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been arrested. It's a long time ago. But you get that one phone call, and you're like, well, am I gonna text? Am I gonna call? Because like a text, like you just like, is that the thing to do? I mean, I want to get you on the phone if I'm arrested. Like Joe, Joe, this this is what happened. It's it. I didn't do anything wrong. Right, right, right. right? Well, that's why you don't want to say anything to the police. You want to talk to me, and yeah, I'll talk to you on the phone. Text me, I'll call you back. But the text is the fastest way to get a hold of me, and then I can call you back. We can help help through the situation. Well, and it's been a long time since I've been arrested, so I'm trying to picture this. So I text. A, a you. week is not a long time. Well, to me it is. To okay. me it is. For, it's, for, it's an eternity for you. <laughs> it's, it's, been, it's been a long I'm week. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's been a long week. <laughs> but, but, I'm, but I'm picturing this, you know, like I text, and then what? You're sitting in the jail cell, and they're like, uh, Mr. Offenbach, you have a call on line one. I mean, like, how do you get back? Don't, don't they take your phone from No, you? I want them to text me from the scene where the officers are asking questions, and they want, and the officers want to start asking you questions. Don't answer their questions. Don't be dishonest with them. Don't ever. Just don't answer. That's what the cop movies are about the, the, and the cop television shows. They all talk about don't say anything. I can't tell you how many cases I could have gotten dismissed if the people just wouldn't say anything. So I want them to text me at the scene, no different than in a car accident. Okay. Text Text me from the accident. Here, text me from when you're about ready to be arrested or to try to help you prevent from getting arrested. That makes I want to be proactive. Get to them before they get in more trouble. That makes sense. It's, isn't it funny in life? I mean, you're talking about law, but isn't that funny in life? Like, the more we listen, the more we can get out of everything instead of just being the one talking all the time, as I have this job. Right, and that would be something for you to try to use sometime. <laughs> You'd be my greatest concern as a client is, oh, hey, Todd, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Yeah, do you use the Fifth Amendment. There's a reason why you had that constitutional right. Yep. Don't say anything. But I, but if I, what if I was just like, but Joe, I was just joking. The English language is loose. It can be so easily misinterpreted. The language you use could be intending one thing, but it can be used a different way. You don't want those honest words twisted against you. So even if you're innocent, you don't want to say anything because you could find yourself with the appearance of being guilty. So, so you have you have six six lawyers in there, and you do kind of cover it all. What what's what's your favorite? What's your favorite case to go against? Like, which one do you go, you know what, I'm gonna win this, this is one I do well at every time, or one I enjoy a lot? Criminal law, uh -huh. which I can tell you, normally I'm in a suit, but I've, had, I've already had six court, uh, seven courts this week, I've got one more tomorrow, I thought, oh, even though I'm supposed to be here for a, wearing a tie, it's like, I'm in court so much, but my job is in every single case, my goal is really to try to get every case dismissed. If I can't get dismissed, get it reduced as much as I can, either what, they're being, what people are being charged with, or what the penalties are going to be, and it's such a, an interesting challenge. No two cases are the same. Right. I've got to listen to my clients. I've got to study the discovery, which is the police file that they're using to prosecute my client, and I got to break that down and try to create prosecutorial uncertainty of success. That's my job. I'm, I'm because prosecutors believe every case is a strong case. My job is to show them it's not such a strong case. Therefore, give a good offer. Therefore, you should dismiss it. You may not win a trial, so that's. But so the better I can attack them, and the earlier I can get onto a case, the better results I'm going to have. You know any good lawyer jokes? I know a ton <laughs> of lawyer jokes, but only about half of them can I actually say on television. <laughs> hey, it's good to have you in here. Come back in again. I, I love I love talking all this stuff. Next time I want I want to talk to you about this uh, this recreational marijuana and what's going on in the city and all this stuff. I'm I'm fascinated with it, and I think it's a good one to cover because one of my strategies I'm delaying the prosecution, delaying the case because. Because as months go on, there's a greater decriminalization of, of marijuana. So a lot of my cases that they originally were charged because of the violation is now decriminalized and the case is getting dismissed. Right. Just one of the many, many strategies. That's that using. really interesting. And, and what happens, I know no, I said I was going to wait to talk about it. What happens to these guys that are locked up in jails and prisons right now for it when the laws change? Does that change anything? That's where the huge issues are because at the time it was illegal. Right. Kind of like the prohibition in the 30s, alcohol, they couldn't have it, but then they legalize it. What are you, what are you going to do with those people that violated the law when it was against the law, but now it's no, long, no longer legal? It's decriminalized, and that's where part of those battles are. And people are coming, the families are coming to me saying, try to get my, my, fa my family member out because they were found guilty at a time that it was illegal. Now it's no longer. The battle is on. Well, get back in here soon. I want to talk more about that. that that's interesting stuff. On a These personal are, level, of course, Todd. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm kidding. I'm only kidding. <laughs> oh, but your words can be construed. You just told me that. <laughs> Very easily. Very easily. Language. Joe Lau from Lau and Lau. We'll take a break and come back with your seven-day lake towel forecast. <laughs> Stay with us. <laughs> 